This video is brought to you by Practical Music Theory for the Rock Guitarist, my new book which is a comprehensive guide to all aspects of music theory necessary for playing rock guitar. From blues to the cycle of fifths, from understanding and using modes to choosing the right notes for a melodic solo, from pentatonic scales to chord construction and keys, it's all covered in a clear and concise manner. With accompanying video demonstrations, jam tracks and tabs, you learn to use the knowledge you gain in accessible ways that make sense for less than the cost of a few guitar lessons. Check out the link in the description for more details. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. It's got to be about five years ago now, I think, roughly that anyway, uh, that I did the first incarnation of what I'm going to talk about today in a video. The guitars that I would buy if I were to win the lottery. You know, get those magic six numbers right on the, um, you know, on the lottery draw. And uh, what would you buy? <laughs> um, well, as I said, I did this video once before and... Um, I'm going to take a slightly different approach to it now. A, because I think my tastes have changed in guitars in the intervening years. And um, back then when I did that video, I thought, oh, well, I'm going to have the best possible Strat style guitar, the best possible Les Paul style guitar, the best possible Telecaster, etc., etc. Um, but I'm, you know, because getting the guitars that you feel you ought to have. Um, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to pick the ones that I really, really would love to own. So let's see what that uh, adds up to. One of these. Yes, indeed. Uh, last year, I was very lucky to um, be loaned uh, Music Man Axis Super Sport. Fantastic guitar. The chap who loaned it to me said, um, hang on to it as long as you want. No rush, no rush to give it back. And I took him at his word on that because that was probably the one guitar that I was really, really sorry to see go. Let's have a look at, um, you know, not the one that I tried, but uh, one that I would probably go out and buy. Not sure I'd have it in this uh, kind of dark finish here, uh, but let's have a, a closer look at it. Beautiful looking thing. Um, there it is. Uh, actually, that quilted top and that finish doesn't look too bad, does it? Um Beautiful guitar in every way, versatile, so easy to play, gorgeous sounds coming out of it, probably um, one of the few guitars that I can think of that, um, you know, where, where you kind of chop the humbuckers in half and they do really, really properly do sound like um, single coils. And as you can see there, uh, four grand price tag, yeah, um, that's not uh, pocket change, is it? Um, you know, that's definitely, you need to have a fair wedge of cash in the bank to just uh, decide on a whim that you want one of those. And um, so hence why it's on my lottery guitar list. Let's have a look and see what's next. One of these. Yeah, that guitar that you briefly saw there in that thumbnail is, well, let's have a, a closer look at it uh, now. Bear with me. I'll just bring it up on screen. Here we go. This is a Nags Influence Series Ken I. Uh, was it Ken A? I'm not sure. But um, what a beautiful looking guitar. Uh, let's have a little bit closer look at it. Um, in case you don't know about Nags guitars, Joe Nags used to be uh, one of the head honchos at uh, PRS and then branched out on his own, I think in about 2009 or thereabouts. And I mean, you look at the, the detail on this, that um, that kind of wood binding there where it's using the same technique as prs do where they, they kind of um just create it, it's often called scrape binding isn't it or um you know fake binding or whatever but just where the finish isn't applied to the edge there and this beautiful pinstripe detailing around here it manages to do that that kind of trickiest of things which is to look luxurious without looking vulgar and ostentatious and there's something about the uh, body shape as well. Let's go back to the, the body shape there. It looks strikingly different, but yet familiar somehow. And, you know, when we look at the price tag of one of these, again, we're in the uh, four grand kind of range there. So again, that's eight grand I've spent so far on the Music Man Axis Super Sport and uh, one of these. So, yeah, again, that's uh, that's going to be one of my 
lottery win instruments, um, along with a few others. Let's have a look and see what is next. One of these? Yeah, that brief little picture there, you thought, oh, is that a PRS? Actually, no, it isn't. It is um, a Crimson Guitars guitar. It's their Scion um, uh, kind of PRS alike. Um, and I took, I'm not usually into ornate fretboarding, as you know my feelings on the PRS birds, but this here just looks kind of cool somehow, just like, a, is it an, a solar system or an atom or something like that? Let's have a look at um, a full-on full frontal view of the there we go you can see it a little bit there as you can see the body shape is you know kind of influenced by prs but it's not pretending to be something that it isn't and you know that's even more evidence when you look at the headstock um so what you do with with crimson guitars is you pick your basic model and then you say and i want it like this and i want it like that and i want this finish and i want the, these pickups and so on and so on so you know prices i imagine are going to be uh starting at this kind of figure here 3200 again uh not the um, not a cheap guitar but not the most expensive one on this list um so yeah i'd definitely get in touch with ben at crimson guitars and um, spec myself up one of those guitars let's see what's next one of these yes indeed um this guitar this humble jet jt350 is just it's in the gold medal position in terms of uh, guitars that i pick up um regularly here um, when i first got this guitar it was a nice guitar and then i had some work done on it by the good folks mainly james at agrajag guitars in middlesbrough they're my local luthiery company so what i think i would do let's go and have a look at their website um what i think i would do is um go to them and say look you know you know what i like i'm into um you know telecasters and les pauls and things like that uh let's see what other custom builds they've got on it going on here um you, you know the sort of thing i like um les pauls telecasters humbuckers versatile vintage output pickups um you know comfortable guitars you know luxurious but not ostentatious all that kind of stuff and i think i'd be inclined to just say to james here's a list of things that i like here's a list of uh, things that i don't like um make me a guitar free reign just do what you want and um you know and it would be interesting to see what came out you know um it's i'm sure he would surprise me in a couple of ways i'm sure he maybe may even push the envelope and think well he said he didn't like that but i think he'll like this and there would be ob obviously a little bit of leeway there but yeah it would be just fun to be in the position where you could go to a skilled craftsman luthier an artisan builder and say money no object build me something that you know i'm going to love I wouldn't well that wouldn't that be cool to be able to do that so that's why that's on this uh, list of lottery win guitars let's see what the final one is one of these yeah you saw that brief picture there a les paul haven't you already got one of those john you'd be saying yes i have um but it's it's the cheap les paul it's the les paul tribute i love that guitar and even if, even if i won the lottery um you know it wouldn't be uh, going anywhere um but you know I want, you know, it, what's the holy grail of Les Pauls? It's a 59 Les Paul, isn't it? You know, and I'm not talking about some, uh, reissue, um, some Gibson custom shop thing, you know, Murphy Lab, anything like that. I'm talking about tracking down one of the original Gibson Les Paul standard models that were made in that sort of, uh, 1959 year. Again, let's go and have a look that one shall we this is up on uh reverb here um you know and this we've been talking about you know three grand four grand for you know some of the guitars on here no this <laughs> this one's the daddy isn't it look at the price on that that is without a shadow of a doubt a, a lottery win guitar you know um let's have a look at a few more pictures of it uh, and just drool you know uh there we go it's um just looking at close up there that finish that's that's just i mean it's it's staggering that a guitar like that which has you know survived since 1959 isn't as knocked up as knocked about and knackered looking as some of the ones that 
um, you know, are relict and purporting to be reissues of guitars from that era. This is obviously a guitar which has had, you know, a lot of care and attention. You can see that it's, um, you know, got its, its, its wearing its age, uh, especially there on the headstock. But, you know, just to be able to be in a position where, um, you know, you, you own the holy grail of all electric guitars, really, a 59 Les Paul. Um, that would be such a cool thing to, um, you know, a feather in your cap, so to speak. And as I say, you, you need either the resources of a nation state or, um, or, or a, or a lottery win behind you to uh, even contemplate, um, signing the check or getting the credit card out to get one of those. I think, uh, it wouldn't be a credit card. Would it be a American Express gold card or something like that? Any, one of those kind of bits of plastic that rich people have that I'll never ever have unless uh, I pick the right six numbers. So there you go. Th- that is my, updated uh, lottery win guitar list let me know what uh, you think of my choices and more importantly let me know what your choices would be down in the comments below I'm genuinely interested to uh, see what your thoughts on on this would be you know, money no object you can have absolutely anything and uh, the only person you're trying to please is yourself what would you buy as i say let me know in the comments and that is very much the video for today folks hope you've enjoyed this little uh, bit of fantasy guitar shopping with me and if you have please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so and why not drop me a like as well while you're at it don't forget the live stream every friday 5 p.m uk time we drink beer and talk about stuff music and guitars mainly but conversations can and do go absolutely anywhere it's a great way to kick off the weekend and i'd love to see you there if you can make it but for now i'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now don't forget your lottery ticket (laughs) 